Good day, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora magician. My people, it was another beautiful day for a protest, and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. Let me first remind you, the front of my sign says, I don't want the white man's money, his woman, his friendship, or his fame. And the reverse of my sign says, white man, why have you enslaved the African-American? My people, it, there is nothing particularly important that I should bring to your attention. But, um, and with that said, let me speak to something of a social nature as it, is, it will and is affecting Vincent and in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. My people, there is something disturbing that is happening in our country. Um, there is rarely any news that is coming out of Union Island. We know Union Island has been struck hard by Hurricane Beryl. We know the people of Union Island have been under a lot of stress trying to get their lives back together. And there have not been much help forthcoming. My people, I have been seeing some videos and some photographs on social media about Union Island. And common sense told me that Union Island cannot recover so quickly. It seems like some people want to see our brothers and sisters on Union Island suffer. And they're trying to give the impression that things on Union Island is back to normal. But I will tell you this. Things on Union Island is far from being back to normal. The people in Union Island are going through some great difficulties and they really need the help of all those who can help them. My people, not one home in Union Island has been repaired. Not one. The people are there living in tents some people get the most of one meal per day and they are very low on water this is the current situation as of september the 28th 2025 at 10 pm my people the spirits of the people of Union Island is very dampened. It's not broken, it's dampened. It is getting to a place where they are becoming broken. What can be done to help our brothers and sisters in Union Island? If you can do anything at all, food, water, monies, to help them recover, it will be a great help. I told you that Ralph Gonsabs is trying his best to see if he can get the people of Union Island off of that island. Because he wants to sell Union Island and they sold most of the crown land in Musti, in, um, in Kanawa. Sorry, excuse me for that mistake. Now, there are a sudden illness that is popping up in Union Island. My people, Union Island is dry. The sun is shining hot. Yet, a lot of people is coming down with flu-like symptoms. There are a few Caucasians who are there who are pretending that they are helping the Unionites. And it seems like the Unionites are very grateful for the help, which they should be. But all remember that when a Caucasians come to your country to help you, their help has ulterior motive. These are the same people who want Union Island. 
But if you remember, they may give you tent to living in lull of your un inability to occupy your homes. But remember, these were the same Caucasians who give to the Native American people blankets that was infected with smallpox to try to kill the American Native people in order to get their lands. Remember, these are the same people who created the HIV virus in a laboratory and intentionally spread it in Africa so that the African can become infected with AIDS. Their population could be, could be depleted. And then they will go in as humanitarian, get the credit for helping the Africans and take possessions of all of the minerals on the continent. When HIV did not work, they created Ebola and they intentionally spread Ebola on the African continent to try to eliminate the citizens on the continent. My people, you may say, Alan, you're talking foolishness. The white man will not do that. The white man have done it before and he will do more. Let me give you an example. When Ebola was ravishing the African continent, they sent medical practitioners there to help the Africans. Those medical practitioners were watching the African die. They look at them as they die. They did not have any, any cure for Ebola. But as soon as the white doctor became contaminated with Ebola, he was shipped back to America. He was taken into custody by the feds. And in a matter of time, he was given a sorrow and he recovered. Why didn't that, why didn't the, the American government mass produce that serum that they had and send it to Africa so that the African who were ailing from the Ebola virus could have recovered like the American doctor, the white American doctor who was thrown back immediately to America. My people, don't take my word for it. Go and fact check me. It is Ralph Gonsalves and those white people on Union Islands hope that they will become the heroes in this Union Island saga. And they will develop great respect and admiration to, for the white man. And they will choose Ralph Gonsalves as their leader. My people, the strange illness that is now affecting the residents of Union Island is not by chance, it is by plan. Trust me. Trust me. This strange flu like illness it is not the flu. When I tell you that 12 gun and the white man want Union Island for themselves. Believe me. If you don't believe me, you, you will not believe me to your own detriment. The white man have never lent aid or help to anyone unless that help or aid is going to benefit him in the long run. Remember what they do? They told the people in the black community in America and in the Caribbean that if you get pregnant at a young age and you bring that child, that child is going to hamper your future. They made abortion free, knowing that when a woman have an abortion, she becomes a slave. They tell all of the African Americans and black people all over the, all over the world, homosexuality is just another way of having sex.
And when they get involved in homosexuality, they become the white man's of the aid. They have been throwing black people in prison for years for minor and no offenses with the hopes that when they are thrown in prison for these minor and minor offenses, for lengthy prison sentences, they will participate in homosexuality. Because they know that when they come out, they have a slave on the streets, you will never get probation or parole unless you have participated in homosexuality. My people, the only, the only good thing that a white man will ever do to you is nothing. If he stay away from you and stay out of your life, you'll be better off. Look at what Ray James Mitchell and Ralph Gonsalves did to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Look at what they done to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They intentionally destroy our economy so that you can suffer. Had it not been for James Mitchell and Ralph Gonsalves, the people of Union Island may have had insurance on their properties. But no, my people, in this America here, they have used a law, eminent domain, to throw black people off of the lands that they own. Central Park in New York City, a large part of Central Park war where black people lived. They implement eminent domain and they throw those black people off of the land to put a park. Could you imagine they are disrupting the life of people so that they could put on a park? Where have you ever heard that happening in the world? In California, in Santa Monica, they show all of the black people off of the land using eminent domain so that they could put down a fire station, a police station, a civic center, and their city hall. There were other land in Santa Monica where they could have done this, but they choose to use the law to disrupt these people to get them out of Santa Monica. There are other places in this United States where they take away the lands from black people and flood it and create a lake. My people, you people in Union Islands, you are dispensable. They will get rid of you and no one will know. Because no one cares about St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This is the reality. You go and fact check everything that I am saying here and you will see that it is true. The evidence, the evidence is there. It is easier than any time in the earth's history to research these things. I don't tell lies. My name is Chief Strongberg. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, favorite and most hated son. The best promises.